Hi guys, today we are going to draw a pattern that I made up and I'm using a Papermate Inkjoy gel pen today. So um, I'm in the car at my son's soccer game and I'm right in front. They're just warming up right now, but um, anyways they are out there in the rain I think it's ridiculous that this game is going on today but well I'm not the boss um so now I'm just like he's getting all soaked and everything um anyways <laughs> I'm distracted so first we start out like this and then after that we will go like this And I like to like turn it and do it again on this side like that. Okay. And then let me make sure you can see me yet. I'm a little bit distracted because I'm kind of watching and drawing at the same time what's going on here. And you might hear a bunch of rain. It's been like coming in spurts. This is a really nice pen. I have this in my Amazon shop store link in the description box below. Plus everything that I've used today, it's all there. So then we're gonna go like this. And I hope you can see it okay with this color. I just think it matches so well. Okay, and then after the next step that I did was I go like this. And I um decided I was going to name this pattern Midge. So if you guys have seen anything like this, like I've said in previous videos or something, just please let me know. It's hard for me to know for sure if a tango has, you know, if I maybe accidentally saw it somewhere else or this and that, you know what I mean? I've made quite a few of my own tangles, so, so far so good, and I know a lot of them. So, you just keep going. We are almost done with the line work, like that. <laughs> and if you wanted to, you could leave it, you know, like this, or you can add a little bit of extra, like right in this area I thought it could even go like this and keep going like that you might hear the kids yelling out there they're so cute they are warriors I tell you because it is really cold here in Ohio it's raining and it's I think 37 degrees and they're still having a game I'm like it is too cold I am NOT standing out there I can see them from the window so and this is the line work okay doke. so let's see what should we do next some shading would be good so I'm gonna take my 4b pencil and my blending stump Okay, the game I'm looking right now, it hasn't started yet. So hopefully I'll get this done so I can sit and watch the game. So we're just going to add some shading here. And then take my blending stump and shade it. And then again right in here, like this. And then my blending stump again. So, I'm thinking about maybe making an ebook soon. 
because I have a whole lot of patterns that I have not even posted yet. And I thought, well, maybe I could, you know, make a real nice ebook. And I have an idea for that. So I've been tinkering around with it a little bit. But it's going to take me a little while because of all my hand and issues in my neck and this and that. Like, for instance, today, I probably wouldn't even be drawing, but I'm taking a leave. And I usually never do take a leave. I don't like to take over-the-counter meds. And I'm taking a leave because I was starting to get a headache on top of everything else. So just, I have a lot of things going on. And I noticed when I did that, <laughs> it's like I could clean the house. I was running around. I'm just so used to not... I mean, I'm so used to always having some kind of pain that it just feels like heaven. So if you're not like me and you don't have a lot of pain in your life, just really thank God today for that because you are very blessed and that is the greatest treasure. I I can't tell you how much I envy you. You know, I mean, it's, I'm not, you know, horrible or anything, but still, I'm, I get a, quite a bit of pain daily. So, when I'm not in pain, I am really thanking our God for that. I do have, um, I do have faith that when the time is right, all this will end and I will be all fixed up. So, in the meantime, I just try to do all the natural, you know, the natural approaches that I can. And when times get tough... Like today, I may take in a leave here and there, but a chiropractor definitely helps. But as you can see, as soon as I feel better, like even if it's under false pretenses, like from a leave, then I all of a sudden I'm drawing again gung-ho. That's how much I love it. And we're going to shade here too, like this. I know that on this channel I talk a lot about pain. I hope that's okay with you guys. I hope I'm not too depressing. Um, I probably am a slightly depressed right now. And it's just because of all, you know, the pain that I go through on a daily basis. That if I wasn't depressed, there probably had to be something wrong with me, right? So, anyways, so there is some of the shading, but... We're not done yet. Let's add some more here. Let's see. There's a lot of ways I can do this. I'm just trying to look here. I think we should add some here. Like this. And just shade it out very lightly. Now it's getting kind of dark and dreary out here. Oh, I hope it's bright enough literally outside of my car and I'm worried that there's going to be enough light for you guys to see what I'm doing this weather in Ohio has been insane because it just doesn't seem to warm up like I'm waiting for that I'm like please will you warm up it's so cold it's so cold here you know so unbearable you can also shade like this. I'm just showing different steps. Do some shading there. I actually think that this right here, yeah, I'm right, needs shaded. Like that. And again, you would do it right here again. So I've been in the car for over half an hour and they're not even started playing the game yet, these poor kids. They are off huddled over there in the corner. But my son is so warm blooded, but I feel sorry for the other kids that actually are normal humans <laughs> and get cold. They are going to be miserable because it is very cold. I do think you need shading here too. So you just go like this. 
and go like this. And where am I missing it? Oh yeah, right here. We want the little um, diamonds to kind of pop out a little bit. And wait a minute. Yeah, right here. So I hope you're liking this video. And I hope I don't sound too uh, dreary today. It's just really dreary and poopy outside. Uh, and if you do like this video, please hit that like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. I am... Uh, going to be posting more of my own patterns coming up here very soon as my pain levels permit so just go like that and remember this needed shaded too in the underneath like this I will finish the rest of this that I just taught so that you don't have to watch me repeat all the shading. And I'll be right back. Okay, here it is um, with the shading finished. And if you want to clean it up, you can use your micro eraser. I have that in my Amazon store too. This thing is wonderful. But I might add a little bit of my own touches real quick with, I've shown this before with some Distress Marker and Prismacolor and I'm going to use Peacock Feathers and I might just uh, jazz this up a little bit. I've shown the basics and I'm going to jazz this up and uh, if you want to see it, it'll be right after this take right here. Here it is all finished guys. Thanks for tuning in today and please hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this video. Until next time, bye.